Hello friends, welcome to Learning AutoCAD 2013. In this first tutorial, you will be introduced to the AutoCAD interface. Everyone opens up AutoCAD most likely by double clicking the icon on the desktop or uh, you can go to all programs also, but in this case we'll double click it and while it is opening, let's talk about what is AutoCAD. AutoCAD refers to computer aided design and drafting. It's the process of using a computer with CAD software to design and produce drawings and models according to specific industry standards. So whenever we talk about AutoCAD, we're referring to this software. In this case, whenever you open AutoCAD for the first time, by default, you receive a welcome screen. This welcome screen that you can see here can be turned off by uncheck the display at startup box. In my case, I'll leave it there. And basically the, work, the welcome screen is divided in three columns. The first one, which is the work, it has several options, three options here, new, open, and open uh, sample files. If any uh, previous work is being done in AutoCAD, it should be here, uh, different file names. Uh, however, we have here another column, learn and extend. Both of them refer to uh, Autodesk online help so if you need for example model documentation or customization seeing drawing seeing autocad and so on and so forth you should click here and be connected to the internet close it and let's go directly to the screen that by default comes up in autocad here you will be having uh, a different set of options this is your interface for autocad this is called the model space Technically, the model space, this black screen here, is infinite in AutoCAD. So you can uh, draw here the entire world. But our advice always is you should draw at actual scale. So if you're drawing for a construction company and you're drawing a house uh, with inches and feet, you should draw at six feet, six inches so on and so forth. If you're drawing for a mechanical company or an aerospace company you sh and you're drawing in millimeters or something like that, you should draw at that scale. So in AutoCAD you always draw at actual scale. Let's go ahead and show you the different features of AutoCAD and how you interact with those features. Right in here at the left uh, top corner we have the application menu button. Whenever you click in here, you will have this uh, little window with a set of commands or actions that are common to any uh, Windows program, like new, open, save, or quick save, in this case, save as. But there are others which are typical of AutoCAD and are not common to all the programs. You can always close the uh, AutoCAD, shut it down by hitting close here or here exit AutoCAD or most people do it going to the close here okay uh, so you already know how to open and close AutoCAD this is as I told you just remember application menu button right next to it you have what is called the quick access toolbar this quick access toolbar is the same as this menu here so you have here new open quick save or save, save as and so on and so forth. Undo, redo, print, but right next to it you have the workspace tab. This workspace tabs refers to your working area. Whenever you see a little triangle like this, you, that means that you have a drop down menu let's click here and you see that by, def by default we have here drafting and annotation this is our working space right now you can also work in 3d or three-dimensional basics three-dimensional modeling AutoCAD classic which refers to uh, 2000 or before that so you can go to the uh, environment you want to in our case we're keeping the default which is drafting and annotation okay right next to it we have the AutoCAD window 
title bar. As you can see here, it says AutoCAD 2013 Drawing 1. This means that your uh, drawing is named by default Drawing 1. Okay, let's go ahead and click. You can click here and go and save or save as. Let's, I prefer to go here, which is faster, and you click here, save, and we will write first project and we will reference to the we'll save it at, at the desktop okay so right now it changed from AutoCAD 2013 to first project that DWD right next to it you have the info center and whenever you do something here it's going to provide you with some information uh, look for it and right close to it is the you should be accustomed to this minimize maximize and close okay this is one of the most important parts here which is called the ribbon and this ribbon on top of the ribbon you can see the tabs home tab insert tab annotate layout which every one of these tabs are specifically intended for AutoCAD and of course uh, have a set of commands which are basically uh, for different things like for example this first one to draw this second one for, to modify and so on and so forth so each of these ones are commands let's go ahead and click line as you can see close to your cursor you have uh, a little which is called uh, tooltip says specify first point so it's talking to you in other in other ways uh, so you click this is my first point and it's going to as you, as you can see it's going to tell you specify next point or and you see there that the same thing that we're having in the crosshair you can read it right down here line specify next point or undo okay whenever you go out of the regular screen which is the model screen the crosshair turns into the regular as you can see here pointer or uh, mouse whenever you go in it's going to be the regular crosshair okay so let's say this is our second point and now our card is keeping uh, asking you what you want to do next next point or finish if you click here for example right click or you hit enter in your keyboard is going to end the line so you have here a line let's hit escape to unselect and as I mentioned before this is infinite this model space you see so you scroll you zoom in or zoom out with your uh, mouse and okay so let's erase for now this little line you can select it and delete it with your keyboard you can select it right click and erase it let's go undo so you can see there are different ways in AutoCAD to do the same thing when you select it, you right click and it's going to give you a set of options erase move copy uh, whatever you want to do with that thing in, in our case we want to erase it and it's done a very important scene is here down you have what is called the command line this command line is a means for AutoCAD to communicate to you you can type okay let's try the same thing without go ahead and click the line command I'm going to use my L in the keyboard as you can see AutoCAD now is giving me a set of options by default and this is new for AutoCAD 2013 as you can see I have here the L AutoCAD is giving me all that is related to L L for line LA for layer large object support LAS for layer state and so on and so forth ok 
okay so a set of options in my case I type L and hit enter and the same command line so you have several ways to do the same thing you can go ahead and click line here or you can type in your keyboard uh, a shortcut and hit L enter and now it's the same thing it's asking you you can look there to the command line and you click there and he's saying to you now specify next point you see and we're we're doing the same thing you right click after you complete your line you hit enter and your line is done there so this is a very useful way to let's delete it and this is a very useful way to communicate with AutoCAD through the command line or you can go ahead and, and click actually the commands uh, the icons uh, there's a lot there's literally tons of commands which are not in the ribbon and this is the ribbon so it's very useful for you to learn those commands but it's gonna be time for that later okay let's now talk about this thing here you can see this XY coordinate system this is called the UCS in here UCS stands for universal coordinate system and basically most likely you remember from school the X and Y axis well we're working here in two dimensional it's a two dimensional system we're working in the X direction and the Y direction and AutoCAD is based on that so uh, if you see for example a 5 comma 8 that means 5 units on the X direction 8 units in the Y direction so right now it's not that important but whenever you're introduced to AutoCAD 3D modeling then the C axis appears there and it's going to be a little bit more complicated but for now we're okay okay right in here you introduce it to uh, another pop-up, uh, another window, small window, and you see conceptual, hidden, realistic, and so many other options. Uh, we're actually by default into the wireframe, which means that you can create several things here. You are going to, you only gonna be looking at lines, not actual shapes. So we're creating lines here, and very important this is the what is called the navigation bar you can navigate through your screen in this case through your model space through this navigation uh, panel or bar here okay this is the model space when you actually uh, model or draft your plans or whatever whatever you're doing right in here you you see here it says model let's click next to it and you have a different thing this is called a layout one here layout two whenever you open up a new drawing uh, from scratch by default in AutoCAD comes up with two layouts a layout means that this is uh, this is a paper this is called paper space you can look down here and see it says paper space in the status bar okay this is technically so you can understand a cutout through a sheet and looking to your model space so basically when you uh, look through this to the model space you can plot you can print here whatever you draw there so this is your actual sheet of paper which is going to be printed in your printer but this is for next thing we're not going to concentrate now in here let's go back to our model space for now uh, I think this is it folks uh, it's very important for you to go ahead and practice so you can learn there is no magic in here if you want to learn AutoCAD you need to go ahead and click line polyline circle later we'll be talking about all these commands and I'll be teaching you that but you need to go ahead and practice on your own okay uh, just remember if you like it subscribe to the video and at the same time keep looking at the rest of our tutorials